Hello everyone, my name is Eric from MTE Equipment Solutions, and today we're taking a look at the biggest member of the Giant family, the Giant G5000. We previously looked at the more compact options in Giant's lineup, and you can find a playlist of those right up here. But today, we're talking about the G5000. Now, the G5000 is the biggest in Giant's lineup, but coming in at over 10,000 pounds, depending on options, it still is not as big as the jobs it's designed for. Now, let's start with the spot that you're going to be spending the most time with the Giant G5000, and that is this operator station. Now, naturally, with it being the biggest Giant loader, it also has the biggest interior and the biggest operator station as a whole. For reference, I'm six foot three, 250 pounds, and I have plenty of room everywhere in this machine. The center console comes down to meet me or goes back up just as easily, and the air ride seat is comfortable no matter how much weight you're putting on it. And all of your controls, conveniently enough, are on your console to your right right here. So the standard operator station comes with just a safety roof and a rollover protection system, but as you can see, this one is decked out a little bit more with front and back glass and door glass all included with the full cab, and the full cab has heat, air conditioning, windshield wipers, and work lights all over the place for visibility in any conditions and comfort in any season. The joystick controls your boom with functions for attachments built right in, along with functions for extending and retracting the telescopic boom option without having to move your hand. All switches are clearly labeled, so as with all giant loaders, it is very easy to pick up and play. If there's any giant loader which I think best demonstrates their most optimized four-season package, this is the one. The Giant G5000 is built to be an extremely hard-working machine, which delivers a ton of strength and a ton of power as a 75-horsepower wheel loader. Everything on the machine that should be steel is thick, heavy-duty, heavy-gauge steel, more than built for the loads this machine is rated for. For example, the main loader arm, the two arms that make up that central body, are each a full inch and an eighth thick piece of steel. So that's one example. Now the other thing that's nice is that the hydrostatic four-wheel drive and the heavy-duty final drives deliver an incredible amount of power to the ground with a lot of pulling force, as with the rest of the Giant lineup. And if you need that to be even more impressive, there's an optional two-speed gearbox that increases that speed and that torque even further to customize the G5000 for your application. Of course, the distinct feature of Giant Loaders is this right here, the articulating and oscillating frame, and on a machine this size, it becomes even more beneficial. The articulation means that for a machine this size, it has a very respectable turning radius, still capable of working in tighter spaces, but the oscillation is so crucial for what the G5000 is. A 10,000 pounds loader, keeping all four wheels on the ground, regardless of the unevenness of the terrain, is going to be able to be so much more efficient with delivering its maximum power and with maintaining stability on a variety of work surfaces. A skid steer or tracked loader in this weight class doing this kind of work would absolutely mangle many work surfaces, so if delivering maximum power to the ground with minimal surface damage is a concern for your application, the G5000 is pretty much unmatched. Of course, all this power has to come from somewhere, and on the giant G5000, that somewhere is this 75 horsepower Kubota engine, chosen for its reliability, its durability, and for the fact that it's super easy to get parts for, and you should always be able to keep it running, especially if you get parts from us here at MTE Equipment Solutions. But the main point is that you can get at this engine just by opening this hood. It's very easy to get at all of your major service components and all of your fluid fills are on the outside. If you really need to get into the fourth side of the engine, the body panel that connects to the cab pops out easily enough along with the seat. You can also get at the engine from the bottom. You should be able to get into everything you need to get into without having to take this engine out. The setup that it is mounted in here with is very compact, but very well optimized. Naturally, the Giant G5000 comes with some different boom options for your use case. Now, this is the telescopic boom right here, which is going to sacrifice a maximum lifting load to increase your maximum lifting height. 
but all of the booms come with the standard skid steer attachment plate in its full size guise so that you're actually able to use a huge arsenal of skid steer compatible attachments for just about any job that you can think of. Now the standard Z-Bar configuration tries to balance the needs and gives you about a 137.8 inch maximum lift height versus a maximum tipping load of 7,360 pounds. Now the extra boom moves the pivot point down a little bit closer to the wheelbase and the ground in order to sacrifice some lifting height to achieve a maximum tipping load of 9,850 pounds. That's actually a full 150 pounds more than the G5000 extra weighs. But if you absolutely, positively need the maximum lifting height you can get with the G5000, except no substitute for the telescopic boom. With the telescopic boom, you've now increased the G5000's lifting height to 171.3 inches. That is the highest lifting height available in the Giant lineup until you start looking at a dedicated telehandler like the GT5048. But that is going to be a video for another time. So putting the whole package together, what do you get? Well, what you get is a machine with a standard 57.5 inch wheelbase with a range of tire options for all surfaces, which can bring the wheelbase all the way out to 77 inches with a variety of ballast options as well. Now the unique design of the frame combines with the heavy duty construction and beefy engine to efficiently deliver a lot of power to the ground with minimal surface damage. With the ballast options and base weight operating on the articulating and oscillating frame, you always have a strong base with excellent traction for heavy jobs. Thanks to the 75 horsepower engine and the intelligently designed drivetrain, the G5000 achieves a standard top speed of 12.4 miles per hour or 21.6 miles per hour with the optional high speed gearbox. This is incredibly fast for a machine in this category and much faster than the top speed of any skid steer. No one else delivers this combination of strength, utility, and speed at this size. The G5000 is Giant's biggest loader with a lot of configuration options to to customize it for your applications. But no matter the configuration, it's still not a machine as big as the jobs it's designed to do. If you want to learn more about the Giant G5000 series, go ahead and hit that little button that's going to pop up in your screen right now, and that'll take you right to our website where you can read all about it and the rest of the Giant line. Do you have some questions about the G5000 that maybe we didn't get to in the course of this video? Go ahead and put those down in the comments. Be sure to hit a like if you enjoyed this video, and be sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to see what we talk about next from the Giant lineup. If you enjoyed this video, we hope that you'll check out more like it from MTE Equipment Solutions here on YouTube. And if you enjoy all this type of equipment and you want to buy some maybe, go ahead and go to www.mte.us.com to learn more about MTE Equipment Solutions. Once again, my name is Ben Eric, and we'll see you in the next video from MTE.